Hey Gemini, welcome. It's Meredith. I am here with a love reading for you. Please do check out the description box. It'll give you all the details for the scope of the reading so we can just jump right in, get to the heart of the matter. Uh, we are starting out with the Power of Love deck and this card is all about you, your self-relationship and what you could consider more deeply within your self-relationship as a benefit to your connection with your person. <laughs> okay, so your card is unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. Unity. Nice. Yeah. You know, it is connection to self that creates a whole lot of attraction between self and another right? It's the way we care for ourselves. It is the way we nurture and love ourselves unconditionally. We talk about it a lot here on the channel because if we don't have the self-love, we really don't have a whole lot to offer when it comes to interdependent relationships, you know, so we don't create a codependent relationship. So do consider unity a bit deeper within self. Is there more you can be doing for you? that will ultimately benefit all of your relationships. Meditate on that. <laughs> okay, uh, the tarot cards, Light Seer's deck. This is all about the flow of energy between yourself and your person or person of interest. And you start out with the Ace of Swords. Aces, as you know, are a divine and cosmic gift from the universe at large. They are a blessing and the Ace of Swords blesses us with pure truth, brilliant clarity, and everlasting strength. It's an amazing card, and it really does cut to the heart of a matter, <laughs> or many matters. So with the Ace of Swords showing up in the reading, this is a, a no BS connection that you have with your person, that they have with you. You share a brilliant truth with one another. And at times, the truth is raw. It's not always pretty. Though it's an appreciation that you have a respect and a level of trust that you have within your relationship. You can rely upon your person to tell it like it is. Again, you might not always be comfortable with that. Ultimately, though, it's a blessing. You're offering the same in relationship as well. And it does not matter what your current status is. If you, if you are cultivating this type of energy in your current relationship or relationships, add in family, friends, children, so on, right? Or you're actively in a relationship and fostering this energy, opening up the door to this kind of energy. It, there's a possibility here I'm intuitively feeling that there's been some in the past holding back, you know, holding back one's truth. Ultimately, it has eroded foundations. You know, you've had to grow, shift, change, move on, transform within all of your relationships because of it. And the feeling here is you've reached an age and stage of life experience and development that you don't want to dance around the truth. You just want to speak it and be received and have that kind of reciprocity in your connection. The feeling here is that you have it, you're being blessed and gifted with it, and it's an energy that I feel you and your person are growing in strength with at this time. And then we have, look at this. Let's just drive that point home a little bit further with the nine of coins. This is the independent person. This is the self-made individual. Most people in relationships, um, pardon, in relationship readings or love readings, when they see the nine of coins, they kind of cringe because it's touted as the single happy person. And I want to clarify and say, there's nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, you have yourself, no matter what. There are no guarantees to any relationship out there. And 
when we have good, solid, unified connection within self, and we have that to offer, and another has that to offer to us that makes for a very strong partnership and connection. So the single happy person, the, the well-developed and self-made individual coming together in connection with another makes for a very strong and profound relationship. So this nine of coins has actually shown up in many of the love readings this time around. So there's a theme at work here in the energy atmosphere, and it is one that is encouraging us to the unity of relationship to self so that we have profound unity in our love connections as well. I kind of feel like, uh, the Ace of Swords here is like, and that's the truth. <laughs> it's coming through so powerfully right now. All right, then we have the Five of Pentacles. This is a card of instability. And I remind you, as I would in the daily readings, that the gift of an unstable five in tarot is the blessing of stability that ultimately it brings. And my feeling here is that you and your person have quite an individual experience with your own set of circumstances connected to the instability of the five of coins. You've been in other relationships. You've had them fall apart. And you've seen your own towers come down and cracks form in your foundation. And for you and your person, there are truths to speak regarding prior instability in relationship because left unspoken the sense of unity building between you and your person doesn't feel as strong as you would like it to either of you for that matter it's this is about the two of you together so saying out loud speaking with your beloved, somebody you hold in heart space, and talking about what made your prior relationships unstable is not going to weaken this connection. It's actually going to stabilize and strengthen this connection because if you have a clear understanding of how you're triggered or how your person is triggered, then you've clear, you're clearing the air. You're having brilliant clarity. So when you witness triggering behavior in self or your person, vice versa, uh, they know how to handle that. They know how to show up with grace, love, unconditional love even, and acceptance. And then there's the doors open for conversation. You can work it through. So this is quite beautiful. If you don't currently have this, if you're not currently celebrating this in your connection, this is guidance for suggesting that you develop this talk talk it through with your person <laughs> okay next from the sacred forest oracle is a card all about your person and how they feel for this connection between the two of you and you have forest temple enlightenment yeah there's a lot of enlightenment and growth to be had here in your connection and both of you are thriving on that but your person in particular well, I'm just getting a, an intuitive message off that, kind of interrupting my, <laughs> my current flow. The enlightenment that your person is finding in this relationship is exceptional for them. They, they likely have not had the opportunity to truly express the truth from their own heart. The feeling is that your person was pretty shut down in the past in other relationships and perhaps remained that way for a long time beyond those other relationships. And I feel like your person is just blossoming out of this five of coins. And so they find themselves in new territory here with you in this very unified approach to the relationship. So the enlightenment they're gaining is, is strengthening their individual nine of coins foundation allowing them to see hear and speak the truth ultimately bringing enlightenment and stability isn't that gorgeous so 
if you have a topic that you want to discuss with your person or you've noticed their triggering behavior, uh, have, have a chat. A no judgment, all parts welcome, total acceptance style chat. No blame, no shame, no guilt. Talk it through. All right, last word on the reading comes from the Romance Angels. And what do they have to say about your connection? We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, you know, there it is. Go on retreat with your person. Go on holiday and have some time away from what's normal and usual. You know, go somewhere. Go away for a few days and talk to nobody else. Just you and your person. I know, doesn't that sound wonderful? How long has it been? <laughs> if ever, right? Go do that and have these kinds of conversations and really enlighten one another and unify in your bond with one another. Next we have, give your relationship a chance. Huh. Work on your relationship. There it is. That's great confirmation. And for some of you who may be going through a challenging time, I feel these cards are saying don't exactly throw in the towel right now. This this is a time to speak and to share. So if you've gone through some difficulties in your current scenario, you'll want to ask yourself, how unified are we? Where can we strengthen? Where can we stabilize? And where can we meet in the middle in our independent and interdependent relationship? Where do we go from here? What's on offer to us? The Ace of Swords says a whole lot of truth could breathe some brand new life into your relationship and take you to heights you've yet to experience. Thank you for watching, Gemini. So appreciate you being here. Peace, love, joy, blessings. And do watch the daily message here on the channel too. Don't forget to cross watch for your person. <laughs> Bye for now. Namaste.